Could you describe your role within the NHS? Diagnostic testing within the NHS is really important uh, for identifying um, the different organisms that are causing infection. Clinicians are basically blind and they just have to guess. So the role of the microbiologist is to give them that really relevant information that we can tell them what um, organism is causing the infection and what antibiotics they can use to treat it. Can you briefly describe some of the other roles within the team? So we have a huge variety of different people within the team. We have the biomedical scientists that focus more on the technical side of things. So they read the colonies, they do the identification of the organisms. We've got the medical laboratory assistants. They are the people that do the more um, routine work. So they do the setting up, the spreading of the plates, that kind of thing, putting stuff in the incubators, waste management, stuff like that. And then we've got a secretary team that also deal with the administrative uh, side of things. Data, and then we've got a data entry team as well. What did your career path look like up until this point? So I started off as a medical laboratory system, so at the bottom basically. And then around COVID time, we were looking for people to step up to handle the COVID workload. So I went from a very junior position, a medical laboratory assistant, into a trainee biomedical science job. And then eventually I was supervising the team on the evenings doing the COVID testing. What challenges do you face within the role? Workforce is always a big issue. Unfortunately, biomedical scientists is very difficult to train because it requires a huge amount of technical expertise. Um, so you really need a lot of academic qualifications. You need a degree, a very specific degree. And then also you need a lot of on the bench experience. And that's where the issue is, is training people up to be able to do the work. It takes a long time. And if you've got somebody training, then that means that they're not doing the actual work themselves. Then it requires a lot of um, investment into people. What skills would you say are required to work in microbiology? Well, there's a huge amount of different skills. So there's obviously attention to detail, there's scientific ability, there's scientific knowledge, but there's also just a, a care and consideration for the, the patients, I think. It's so important to understand that each one of the specimens that we have that comes through the door is a patient and we do the best we can, even if it means staying an extra five minutes, get those urines up, just to make sure that every single patient gets cared for the best we possibly can. What advice would you give to someone looking to begin a career in microbiology? Well, it's, a, it's quite a difficult field to get into because of what I just described. You need a very specific degree. The thing I really recommend to every person that comes through is make sure that your university is accredited by the Institute of Biomedical Science because it's very difficult to get your degree accredited if you don't do an accredited degree. Um, and then also the other thing is try and get some scientific um, experience. What advice would you give to current trainees? Develop your scientific understanding. I think the other thing is don't be afraid to get involved in um, the working practices of the laboratory. I went from a uh, laboratory assistant with not very much confidence and now I'm the rep for um, UNITE for the department. And I think it's really important to get involved in stuff like that. Don't be afraid to um, to put your voice forward and say when you think you have ideas that could help the department. What do you think will have changed about this department in 10 years time? Um, I think there's a huge amount of technology coming in. There's, um, there's obviously PCR um, from various different sides of the body and stuff like that. There's more rapid testing. There'll be more point of care related stuff, I think. But I think the main thing is, so we've got the pathology network that's coming in, so we're going to be um, sharing procurement and IT systems with um, North Kent and East Kent, which I think will save a lot of money and hopefully reduce redundancy in terms of paperwork and stuff like that. So that'll be really good going forward.